Jacob's carpenter lived close to here, who was not as fond of his wife as his beer. He was hard up the brass to be sure all his life, and so for ten shillings he auctioned his wife. They sent round the bellman announcing the sale unto the haymarket, and that without fail. The auction is struck with his hammer so smart, while the carpenter's wife stood up in the cart. Now she was put up without grumble or frown. The first was a tailor to bid half a crown, who began, I will make her a lady so spruce, for I'll fatten her well on cabbage and goose. Five and sixpence, three farthings, a butcher, he said. Six and ten, said a barber with his curly head. Then up jumps a cobbler, and with a loud ball, nine shillings bid for her bustle and all. Just look at her beauty, her shape and her size. She's mighty good tempered and sober likewise. Go on, says the sailor, she's one out of four. Ten shillings I bid for her, but not a screw more. Thank you, sir, thank you, says the bold auctioneer. She's going at ten, is there nobody here? To bid any more, isn't this a sad job? She's going, she's going, she's gonna tembal. The hammer came down, concluding the sale, but Tarry paid down his brass on the nail. He shook hands with Betsy and he gave her a smack and took her away straight home on his back. And long may they flourish and prosper through life, for Jack was well pleased with his ten shilling wife. And long may they flourish and prosper through life, for Jack was well pleased with his ten shilling wife.